Welcome to this episode of Your Hall of the Day. My name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. Now, right now, we said that you all the day. We see studio. Ah, we tire. So we are on the street. And we are going to be on the next of the people in position of power to make sure that things are fixed. Now, we are on the Medina UPSS stretch. Look at these things. They were created in the middle of the roads for expansion, you know, spaces like that. So, like, as then they build the road and they created this thing, say, say, if the expansion come the road inside that, it go accommodate them. Look at the situation right now. The metals them take do all opportunity where you they hang there. The metals them take do some break. Um, the cement, the, everything small for here. There is one here where two metals come out in teeth. So you come out in teeth for them. So if you they drive where your tie no good way stepped up. You go fish some assault, go somewhere. But you know the issue is, you know what the problem is? We are waiting for an accident to happen before we go set up a community. It's not committee or community to go and sit and find out the reason why someone's car some assaulted or skidded off the road before they go come fix them. Look, look at this. It is about seven. You they hear the noise? Look. What the hell? Look, it's not like I'm exaggerating. Look at all these things. Why do we have to? There was a time some guy be in car, in car. Sorry, he stepped inside where the metal holding tie. Yes. You won't fucking believe this happened. And the guy posted a video on Twitter, and as usual, nothing was done. This is what is happening. The Minister for Road and Highway or MTTD or whoever is in charge. Me see, we are going to be on your necks until things have... Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Me see the top there, there. Some metal will be there inside. You check like this. Check like my two, uh, my two, my two front teeth. See. Look at this. Come, bring it. Bring the camera. Look. It's like there is gutter in the middle of the road. It's like there is gutter in the middle of the road. And the materials that were used to actually do this thing there, uh, it they rot. It they rot. So if there are any engineers in this country or at the Ministry of Road and Highways, this is their job. They are supposed to come and fix it. There is supposed to be an assessment to this situation. But no, once again, we are waiting for something bad to happen. Then we go set up a community to come and do this thing. This is, this is tragic. When we say fix the country, these are some of the things we are telling you people to fix. And this is the barest minimum, bro. Wait, this thing, if you dare approach here by now, then fix some. When are people for here now? By now, somebody take the money where you set up. Somebody take money where you set up. Make somebody die before they go, 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 they go do them. Now with the country, you think, say, see, if you people go make one alive miserable, which will make your life miserable. And you know what is funny? They sit in V8, so these things, you know, they affect them. V8, I know it's me faso. The V8 entire go through past this thing top without any carnage. For uh, the woman is going to come and pass up and see something. What kind of nonsense is this? So I am, I am pleading on behalf of whoever is responsible for this job. Please come and fix it. It has become death trap here. We not finish oh. Maybe she ah.
most of the problems on the Accra Tema motorway is because the maintenance is done with the asphalt and this has been done with the iron road and the concrete initially. So once there is a crack and water goes inside, iron road starts rusting and it cracks further. And if you are patching it with the uh, asphalt, it will not solve the issue. So uh, now, if, if it would have been built with a fiberglass rod, like this one, uh, it, it won't cause such problem for future. So we really hope that the issue with the Accra Tema motorway problem will be solved s soon because the traffic is, is, is horrible every day. Thank you. Uh, I say this time around here, the hour of the day, we don't go sit for the office. We are not going to sit in the studio. We will be on the grounds and we are going to step on the annex, highlighting some of the things, the ills in the society. But things that happen on the motorway. So today, um, we are not in the studio. We are on the motorway. I have the gang here with me, but they are behind the camera. But ladies and gentlemen, yes, um, that is someone's death trap over there. This is not a pothole. This is a well. This one, you don't dodge it. You choose the one to enter. And this is why there is traffic on the motorway. People, uh, bro, it took us about five hours to cross the motorway because people are trying to dodge potholes. You know, we say can't be small or anything, no. People are trying to dodge potholes, and because they are navigating like that, you know, there is so much traffic on the motorway. I am not the first person to have done a video here. We keep amplifying. We keep trumpeting the problems on the, uh, uh, on the motorway. They don't care. They don't care, you understand, because they use V8. The V8, if some, some enter this thing, you know, go fill them. It be me that you want a car. This be the same place my car come enter. Are you for here, no? My car come enter pitch for here, where my room divided into two. I can get it, take it like I, I lose. I, I can get it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I lose my 32 teeth all. So today we are in the uh, in the streets. We are on the motorway. We are talking. This is sad, bro. Oh yes. Um, you see this hole in the middle of the road here. Yeah. We are going to name this thing after the. And uh, the, the roads and highways minister. Oh, what's time? What's time you shoot? What's time you shoot? Oh, we are naming this one after uh, Amwakwata. He is a minister for roads and highways. This is for him. Yes. This one is for Amwakwata. We would um, encourage the government. If it's not even encouraged, I am ordering the government to fix this thing. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm not going to encourage anyone. Fix this thing. This is your job. I hear the minister for roads and highways or minister for whatever. He lives in Tema. So obviously he uses this road every day. But do you know what you are seeing here? They don't care. They don't care. And until they fix this thing... Kwame Nkrumah, oh, 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 Kwame Nkrumah must be weeping in his grave. Over 60 years. Look. Look. Look at this. You are also to talk gang signs. Yeah, Babu. You need to bring your gang signs. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what is happening. My name is Kaya Sheldon. Yavishia.
We are still on the streets. Look at the condition of our roads. Where we have leaders who say they are promising Ghanaians they are going to break the eight. Look at the condition of the Accra motorway. Just look at the condition, ladies and gentlemen. Accra Tem Aquino. This is like a very busy road that runs 24-7. Streets lights have no day. No lightning, nothing. Look at the condition of our road. We have leaders that want to break the eight. Infinity more ten. You know, look. This has been here for over 10 years now. This has been the condition. People are struggling. Look at how cars are moving. Just look at them. Look at this. And then we sit in the country. When the youth wants to complain, they said, and I, and I, I come, yeah, nah. we are done the road. We are done. They are fixing. Yesterday, they asked the youth president, the MPP youth president. Also, they are fixing the road. Because you itemize things which you consider a usual rhetoric. You mentioned, one, the motorway, two, fix the road, three, cost of living, and other tangentials. Salam, do you use the motorway? Well, of course I do. I, I what is the state of the motorway in your opinion? And let me also tell you that if you... Tell Just if please you answer my question. The what is the state of the no, motorway I'm in your opinion? You ask a question and I'm answering. So you listen to me. If you use the motorway today, you will see that work is ongoing, especially from the... Uh, interchange being done from the Spinkers to East Lagos to the motorway. So if you followed what we did in 2019, when the second phase was commissioned, we said that we're starting the, 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 the third phase, which includes the interchange. Okay, let me That's tell you, East, I was on the, the motorway yesterday. I was on the motorway yeah. yesterday, and I noticed there's work around the Accra Mall end of the motorway. Before the toll booth, the actual motorway, which has been the cause of countless accidents over the, I don't know how many years. I was afraid for my life while I drove on the motorway yesterday. The potholes are endless. There's been a constant call by young people, in fact, all Ghanaians, asking for the motorway to be fixed. I do not think, yes, Salam, I, I, I do not think, Salam, I do not think, Salam, that yes. if people are out I on the streets calling the for these things to be fixed, that it is okay for you to write a very long letter calling these things rhetorics bordered on political lines. Look, we are here today. They are fixing the road. Yesterday, Ghana Highway Authority, they said they are about, they are starting something. Look, they are starting. When will they get here? We, you see, we have videos. You will see them. Look. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, we will do this. We will amplify. We will tell you what is happening on the streets. Yes. So you see, this is why they actually they cause the traffic. You go spend two hours on the motorway, which is supposed to be like 15 minutes journey. 20 minutes maximum. Look. So the, the, the traffic on the motorway, you know, we say somebody in car, there is no accident on the motorway today. What is causing the traffic on the motorway today is a, as a result of the potholes. People are trying to dodge the potholes in, in the course of that, they are causing traffic. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen. This one, we will name it after the president himself. Nana Adodankwa, this one is for you. I am naming this photo after Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. Yes. Look, look at this. So, Nana Ado, if you are watching this, I have done naming ceremony here. Please bring the cake. Bring the drinks. Let us celebrate here. No, no, no. Yes, this is for you. Look at this death trap. The metals are all exposed. Kwame Nkrumah must be weeping in his grave. Look at this. That guy said, you want to break the heads. You will break it for us to, to see. Break crying. Yeah, I'm pretty small.